Hi, this is Robert from Manchester Orchestra, and you are watching 99X.com. It's the Bonnaroo edition of Lewis's I Say It, You Finish It. All right, we're with Robert and Chris, and it's I Say It, You Finish It. All right, we'll start off. Let's do it with Chris. Chris, the first one is the best part of being with Manchester Orchestra is? Boobs. Ooh. No, it's not the boobs. It's, it's really the friendship. <laughs> I like the first answer. <laughs> best part of being with Manchester Orchestra is? Not having to have a real job. There it is. But if you had a real job, what would it be? Working at studios. Okay, all right. All I'd right. still be happy with that, I okay. think. Okay, all right. All right, in my alone time, I like to... Well, it's your time. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> watch Friday Night Lights. Okay, all right. That's yeah. a little more sensitive than I thought. Cry, right. cry while watching that show Parenthood. Have you seen the show Parenthood? No. It's uh, a tear fest. Really? It's about a it's family about who wants to bring it together. Girl? Yeah, it's got oh, the moms yeah. and Gilmore Girls in it. <laughs> and it's just, it's just heartbreaking. Do you take the glasses off and wipe the tears? Absolutely. Oh. I'm just sitting there just like on oh, my couch <laughs> alone at 3 o'clock in the morning just like, Why? Why did I turn this on? This is a terrible idea. <laughs> All right, next one. My favorite place in Atlanta to play is? I really like variety. Yeah. Variety's fun, but... Center stage isn't bad. We do those two shows. Swayze's. Okay. All right, <laughs> no. Swayze. So Roadhouse. We'll call it Roadhouse. Okay. <laughs> I like Roadhouse. <laughs> yeah, I like playing at Dalton. All right, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. The three bands you have to see on tour is... Radiohead, My Morning Jacket, Dr. Dog. I'll go with that. Jeff Tweedy or Wilco yeah. is a great live experience. Okay, all right, all right. My biggest pet peeve is? Styrofoam. I just <laughs> really? fucking, it drives me insane. The noise, Mary and I went to Taco Mac the other night and got it to go, and on the Y back, and I was just, on the way back, I was just like, stop, just hold it in the air. I can't, I can't hear this noise anymore. I hate it. You don't like the sound of it? Oh, it drives me insane. Really? That right. and my Adam's apple. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> I have a gag reflex on my Adam's apple, so those two. <laughs> right on, right on. Dude, if you could hit him with the mic during this interview, that would be awesome. Uh, no, I'm could, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ace, <laughs> and then somehow turn it back on him, then it'd be brilliant. I love it. Yeah, All, right. All right. The last song I downloaded was? Uh, I want to say Cranberries. Ooh. Uh, no, it was Reckless Eric, the song called Whole Wide World. Okay. Are we talking illegal or iTunes? Let's do, let's do Ill illegal. Let's do illegal. I don't do illegal. That all right, way. okay, all okay, right. Okay, I'll tell you what. I had Bright in the Corners, and I didn't want to buy the pavement reissue, so I downloaded that. Okay. And there's a great whatever hopeless song, and I downloaded it for that song. All right, all right legal, legal. I just got the new Dead Weather record. Oh, okay, all yeah. right. Playing here at Monroe. Al Green's Let's Say Together, that album, I bought. I got that on iTunes. The thing I'm scared of is? Somebody hiding behind the shower curtain in the bathroom. I always check behind the shower curtain when I go to the bathroom. Do you really? Every time. <laughs> Every time. And I just Even met a girl you... who does the same thing. Oh, and I'm like, it's Sparks, perfect. wait a minute, wait they're, a minute. They're... Now wait, do you do that even when you're going in to do a number one? You gotta yes. look at, really? Yeah, when I go pee, I literally. <laughs> their, Dude, roommate started, their roommate started putting a vacuum cleaner in it Every just to the freak them out. Every tour, our roommate puts a vacuum cleaner in our bathroom. <laughs> So when I go in there, I open it, I'm like, oh. and I put it in his shower, and then he puts it in the closet, and we never talk about it. It just happens. Nobody speaks about it at all. It right? just happens. Just like the chicken. We leave the live chicken in the closet. We don't even talk about that. Exactly. All right, guys, the last one right here. This is for both of you guys, Chris and Robert, Manchester Orchestra. You have 20 seconds on the clock to plug whatever it is you want about your band, about what's coming up, what you got going in the future, whatever it is. You have 20 seconds on the clock, and the time starts right now. So I was thinking about the other day that we were going to make a record and we're starting it and that's going to be really fun. And we did this thing with Kevin Devine called Bad Books and that was really good and that's going to maybe work out to some kind of tour. And then Robert has a solo project called Gobatron and it's really, really good. I have a solo project called Alaska Nicely. It's pretty decent, but he's working on it with me. And then we he's got his other side project called Eight Priest Metal Band. Metal Band. And it's really good and I really like it. I think time's up. Yeah, <laughs> that was so many words you could have wrote a book with that. I don't know how I, I like, don't know how I got those words out. It's insane. That was really good. It might be the drinks. Do you want to talk about it? Oh no, I'm good. But okay, I'm, okay. Well, might not. Why not? <laughs> Just don't touch his Adam's apple. It's my thing. Don't, <laughs> don't. Manchester Orchestra. Make sure you check them out in a town near you. And thank you for watching another. I say you finish it with Lewis. This is the Bonnaroo edition. <laughs>